Hello there, you're welcome to the show. This is Coach Lillian. I'm so excited to be here again. I hope you all are staying very healthy. And also, if this is your first time on stopping by on my channel, thank you so much. This is where we talk about things that keeps our spirit and our soul very, very healthy. Today, we are talking about resetting our body. Resetting our body. So that means there are some things that we need to reset in our body. And there are some things that are causing those things not to set properly. So we're going to be looking at stressors that affect our body. So if we're able to get rid of those stressors, our body can reset and go back to the normal way that God has created it to be. So that you can enjoy life's full potential. Now, what are those stressors? There are some stressors in our body that can cause a lot of problems. So from my study and from a lot of things that I've been reading, I've come to realize that not all problems actually need you to pop a medication into your mouth. There are some certain things that you can handle naturally. There are some certain things you can do, you can reflect on and change and your body will just reset itself. So first of all, we're going to be looking at those stressors. What are the stressors that affect our body? Number one, depression. I know some of you say, oh, I'm an African woman. I don't get depressed. I'm an African man. Some people get depressed. They don't even know they're depressed. By the time you stop doing those things you love to do, by the time you start isolating yourself, you just want to be alone. You don't want nobody to come around you. Those things are signals to your body that you are gradually going into depression. Another stressor is anxiety. This one is huge. Anxiety is something that is affecting so many people, millions of people. And guess what? When you are, when you have, when you're anxious, what happens? It sends a lot of signals to the brain. The same thing even with depression. It sends a lot of signals to the brain. And the brain, if you look at the brain, it's like when you have your electric pole and you have to wire to different places. That's how the brain is. So that signal that is sending will now begin to send them to different parts of your body. So anxiety is one of the stressors that affects our body. A lot of people are so anxious for so many things that are very minute. Some people are stressed from, oh, I'm not married yet, I'm 45, I'm 50, I've not gotten married. I'm, even some people who are 30, they're so stressed up that they're not married. Some people are like, oh God, I'm getting divorced. Why am I getting divorced? I don't really know. It's going to affect me. Anxiety sets in. Oh my God, in our family, they say so, 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 and so happens when people are of this certain age. And now next week, I'm going to get into that age. Anxiety. So that anxiety sets a lot of, sends a lot of signals to your brain. And what happens? When that signal goes into your brain, what happens to your body? It begins to cause inflammation. Now let's go to the next stressor. I'm going to put them together, marry them together, and let you know what they cause at the end of the day. So now, the next one is fear. A lot of people fear so many things. I'm just kind of taking them up, up, but... We're going to come back to treat each one of them. We're going to dive deep, 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 deep. Because anxiety has caused a lot of problems for a lot of people that they can't even cope without medication. And the same thing to fear. A lot of people fear so many things. I might be talking to you. When I was like in my early 20s or my teens, you know, there's so many things that I fear. So many things. But gradually, I started overcoming those fears and I just started telling myself, you know, why am I really afraid of this thing? Why? And not just that. Some of them are very minute and some of them are really very serious. Some people fear so much that even when you sit near them, they'll think you want to buy them. They fear so much. They can be around people. They are so scared. They are like, oh my God, if I touch this thing, it might just affect me. If I do this, it might just cause this for me. So what are you doing to your body? You are hurting your body. Because that fear sends signals to the brain. It sends signals to the brain. It stresses your brain. And what happens? Your brain 
begins to say signal to your hand, to your body. I remember uh, during the pandemic, I was having a lot of anxiety just from something that I saw. And like, the anxiety was so much, I had to call up the doctor and like, I don't know what's wrong with me. And you know, when you have anxiety, it elevates your blood pressure. It elevates so many things in your body without you knowing. And what happens, a lot of people now get sick and they're like, oh my God, what has caused this problem for me? It's anxiety. That's why I want you to understand your body and what is really going on so that when you begin to reset your body, you'll not find out that, oh, wait a minute. I really didn't need to take that medication for headache. I should have just relaxed. Now, the next stressor is trauma. I can promise you when you bring 10 people into this place right now, six, seven of them might have been traumatized from something from their childhood or young adulthood or even as they are getting older. And guess what? Because they are so traumatized, they hold on to that thing and they are 60, 70 now, they still haven't let go. And what are you doing to yourself? You're causing problems. So a lot of people have gone through so many of these things that they hold on so tight to it and say, you know what, my father did this, my mother did this, my sister did this, this person did this. I'm not going to let go. Guess what? If you don't let go, you are hurting yourself. You are slowly hurting yourself. So let go. Forgive and just let go. Because if you don't let go, putting these things together you begin to trigger your brain and your brain begins to send different messages to different parts of your body and you not come up with, oh my God, my hand hurt, my shoulder hurt. It could just be from that stress. It could just be from that anxiety. It could just be from that depression. It could just be from that fear that you're having. That's why I said that follow us on this platform and by the time we begin to unfold a lot of things, you realize that, wait a minute, what's going on with me must actually be due to this thing. And I'm going to get it out of my body. Because you know what? God has given you a good body. He has given you life so that you can fulfill your potential. Enjoy your body. Enjoy your life. But with the chaotic things that we have seen, with the chaos going on in our community and in our society, is making a lot of people sick from these stressors. Some people are so depressed. Oh my God, nobody is telling me that I'm beautiful. Nobody is telling me this. Uh, when I went out, I was isolated. Nobody want to come close to me. I better just even don't go. Somebody said I'm not so pretty. Somebody said I don't have this. Why are we causing stress for ourselves? I'm going to give us tips that we can use to get out from some of these things slowly. Because there's so many help. So don't keep yourself in a box. Get out of that loop. Just get out of it. And you'll be surprised. You will just be fine. Some people are so emotionally traumatized that they don't want to let themselves go. And what happens? You are giving room to the enemy to bring you problems. To bring you sickness, to bring you disease. But I'm telling you as you're watching today because this platform also is so spiritualized. Because when you put both of them together and you're healing, everything goes together because God heals. And his, his desire for us is not to be sick. But everything is right in your hands. So when you put these stressors together, like I said, it sends that signal to your brain. And what happens? It brings inflammation. It brings inflammation. Stressors causes inflammation. And guess what? Inflammation is one of the things that causes a lot of sicknesses and diseases in people's bodies. So you have to not tell yourself, you know what? What am I really stressed for? That you saw your friend carrying a Louis Vuitton, you don't have it? Or you saw another person building house, you haven't built yours? Or you saw somebody getting this thing, you haven't gotten it? Why are you stressed about it? Whatever you don't have for the moment, you don't need it. It's high time 
we begin to distress ourselves. And the reason why I'm saying this is that in our community, so many people are so sick, they don't even know it until it gets so late because we don't realize that some of these stressors can affect us. And so no, I'm an African person. I didn't grow up to see anybody saying that they're depressed. Let me tell you, a lot of people are so depressed in our community. And that's the truth. A lot of people have a lot of anxiety, so much so that if they don't even take medication, they can't sleep. It's true. So now, what are the tips that you need? Some basic things that you can start doing to eliminate these stressors from your body. Because you realize that that leg pain, the back pain, the waist pain, the hand pain that you have might just be from the stress you're giving to yourself. It might just be. I don't know why most... Let, let me make you laugh a little bit. Sometimes when I'm in front of the camera, that's when I get itchy on my nose or my head or my hair. <laughs> you know? Anyway, that's by the side. It's good to laugh because laugh is medicine also. So I make you laugh. So now I'm going to give you just a few tips that can help you that you can start thinking, you know, just start incorporating them and you see some of these things will begin to leave your body. And if you need more help, please DM me. We can get you resources where you are. I know some people say, I'm in Africa. Do they have this? Do they have that? Let me tell you, they have it. So number one thing that you need to do to take away this stress from your body is to seek therapists. Get a therapist. You say, oh, I don't want to go to therapy, especially as an African person. They're going to say, oh, you are this, you are that. You don't want to stay there eating yourself up. Putting all the inflammation in your body that can cause sicknesses and diseases. So many things that are rampant in our African communities today is because a lot of people are not speaking out. A lot of people are not seeking help. We are ashamed. What would they say? What would they say? What would they say? You are you. Nobody is you. I am me. Nobody is me. So you go do you so you can be healthy. Go get a therapist. Oh, I've been praying. I go to church respectfully. The pastors are not therapists. So what you have to do is when you go to pray, you take the prayers and go to therapist. And when they are doing the therapy, you marry it together. And you find out that things will be working for you. But you just can't sit down. You come back from the church, you're so angry like a lioness or lion that has not eaten for seven days. It's all because you've been bottling a lot of things up, bottling a lot of things up, and any little thing can trigger you. So get a therapist. Get a counselor. They're going to tell you what to do. Anywhere that you are, they have. They have a lot of counselors and therapists now in Africa. They have anywhere you are. So I, I don't know how to locate them. Inbox us. I'll be able to send you some resources to help you. So you begin to see the difference when you begin to talk to people. A therapist. Number two, another thing you can do is to mingle with people. A lot of people isolate themselves so much. Come on. You have one life to live. Why are you living in isolation? Why do you want to live in isolation? Oh, I know they go out to, I know they talk to people. I don't want to do this. I'm just on my own. I am so gentle. I, I, I don't even, you see them, they don't even smile. They don't. I'm even smiling too much. Why? You only have one life. So mingle with people, the right people. Look at people of your age group and join what they're doing. You go to church. There's some people who go to church. The moment they close, they just hold their Bible. Oh, they attend to Israel. I am going back home. They just go home. They don't even mingle with the groups that they belong. So why are you uptight? When you are uptight, these are the stressors that causes inflammation in the body. Oh my God, you know what? I don't want to tell anybody, but this is what I'm going through. I just want to suck it in. You are slowly hurting yourself. So mingle with people. Join a reading club if you love to read. There are a lot of reading clubs you can join. Join a reading club and begin to read something. 
socialize, join friends who watch TV, you know, films together. Just do something that will begin to redirect your mind and redirect your brain and begin to give your brain good signals to your body. Don't stay in isolation. You don't have to. Because when you're doing that, you're hurting yourself. Now, the next one. I love this one so, so, so much. I love it. But somehow, some people are so ignorant, especially we, because we try to be very religionalized. We now say that, oh, yoga and meditation is not good. It is demonic. Who told you it's demonic? It's not. These are things that will distress you. Join a yoga class if you can. There are a lot of Christian yoga. For those of you who are very fanatical, who does not want to go to a regular yoga class, and what's yoga? Basically, it's just the stretching of your body and also helping your body to relax. Do meditation. Meditation. You can just sit down in your house. Thank God for the internet these days. There are a lot of things that can help you on YouTube ch channel. There are a lot of things that can help you everywhere. Just put it in and say, okay, I want to meditate. As you do the meditation, it will guide you through deep breathing. Do you know by doing that, you can bring down your blood pressure with 5 or 10 points. So deep breathing, meditation, that you can calm yourself down. When you do that... I love meditation. I love deep breathing. I love yoga. Because it helps your body to calm down. It relaxes the whole of your body. It does. So you just can't sit down and say, Oh, you know what? I don't know what happened. Or oh, they just said this is in my body and that is in my body. It's because of so many things that we can deal with. Eliminate these things out of our body naturally. And you'll find out that you'll be so healthy like a newborn baby. You feel me? So, I'm encouraging you that is watching me today. That please, especially in our community, there's so many people sick, 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 sick. It shouldn't be. We're going to delve into so many other things in most of, in our episodes as we progress. So please stay to stay with me. Make sure you're sharing the video. Tell people about us. And say Coach Lillian is really saying some beautiful things that we need to hear. That we need to know. So that you can live a healthy life that God has designed for you. That's it. So please... If you have some of these things going on, because, you know, in our community, people don't say too many things. They're like, oh, don't tell them I have anxiety. Don't tell them I have depression. Even some of them go into a facility, they see you as a black person. They say, no, I don't want to attend you to attend to me because I don't want you to know what is going on with me. Let me tell you, everybody got a baggage. You are not alone. And that's why I told you, I have had anxiety before. I was so anxious that at a point... <laughs> I don't even know what to do. My pressure, everything. I call the doctor like this and that. Like, calm down. It's in your head. Tell yourself, why am I really anxious? What am I anxious about? Why am I causing myself anxiety? Once you begin to tell yourself that, you will see that you will begin to heal yourself. So reset your body by reducing your stressors. And for you to reduce your stressors, make sure you follow these tips. They're right on the screen. You can go back and rewind it and watch it again. And take a little action, baby steps. I tell people, don't jump into the bandwagon. Make sure you just do baby steps and you begin to see results. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Your health is your wealth is very important. Take it seriously and so that we all can have a beautiful community and also have a beautiful health and be happy. I'll see you guys on the next video with another beautiful topic coming your way. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to follow us. And if you didn't watch me for YT, press that button. Touch them. Now free.
You know how to pay anything. Till I see you on the next episode. Stay blessed and continue to stay healthy.